Hi guys, and welcome to the first of what's hopefully going to be many uh, quick tip video tutorials. Um, basically the quick tip series is just going to be short little videos showing you tips and tricks um, in various applications um, that I think may help with your workflow or just something cool that I find um, and something that doesn't necessarily need a full length video tutorial. Um, so basically today the first thing that we're going to look at is um, previewing procedurals, procedural textures um, when you're working in the material editor. So one thing that you may notice straight off the bat is the preview of the cellular map procedural that we're seeing on the material sphere in the material editor. Um, the scale is a lot different to what we actually see both in the viewport and when we do a render. Um, for some reason 3ds Max just ships with um, this setting at default. I don't know why, it doesn't really make much sense. Um, but basically there's a really really easy fix for it. Um, now I use the Slate Material Editor pretty much all the time um, but to access this option to change it, if you go under Options preferences under the slate material editor we don't really have many options here so to be able to change the option that we need we have to switch over to the compact material editor so just under modes and switch to compact and when you're in the compact material editor you can then hit options and options again and it brings up the material editor options um, now if you have a look down here it says render sample size and it's set to 300 by default. <coughs> if we set this to 25 and hit apply, you can see instantly that in the material editor, the preview that we're getting now um, matches the viewport a lot better and obviously matches the render a lot better as well. Um, so I definitely recommend ch changing that, um, just because, especially when you're working with procedurals um, in the material editor, it can be pretty frustrating to be basically editing the maps um, and think that you have everything to the right scale only to then do a render and the procedurals that you've used for, say, adding noise to a mask, um, using it as a bump map or a displacement or something like that, is completely off scale. Um, so yeah, if you change this setting, you can switch back to the Slate Material Editor, and the setting will carry over. Um, the only thing that you've got to do is um, any materials that you've already got set up in the Slate Editor before you change that setting, you've just got to right click, Update Preview, and there we go, now it's all rendered um, at the proper scale. Um, so hopefully that helps you guys out um, and you find this useful. Um, it's one of those settings that I just basically change as soon as I install a new version of 3ds Max. So yeah, thanks for watching.